Hey YouTubers, this video is for OEM conversion of factor door panels and factor switch power windows on 03 through 06 Chevy Silverado, 03 through 06 GMC Sierra, and many others that if you want to get power windows. Now this is a 2004 Chevy Silverado base model 4.3 originally. Um, it has had the swap done. There's the old engine over there, 4.3. And I have done the swap in here to an LS V8. Still got some ways to go. Got to do some tuning and all that. And do the E-fans. Get rid of this clutch. Because I had some. Sold them. Like a dummy. Sold them. And... Now, do e fans, but that's not what the video is about. This is for power window swap using OEM parts from your donor truck or junkyard truck you pick up. Now, these windows work by these switches on this control. A lot of people say, Oh, you, you know, you probably bootlegged it or, or doing it this way or that way. No, it's actually wired up correctly. It has a fuse link in it and both doors work and that one driver side controls passenger with only one wire running to the passenger side and that's power wire so let's show you let me show you how I did it so on this harness this is the door harness from the driver side on on a it's from an avalanche, but it's the same thing. So you got all these wires. Now this was a four door, and this is a two door. So you have ground, a ground wire here, power wire, the orange thick wire right there, and then the orange smaller wire right beside it. And then you have this little brown wire. Let me get the camera to focus. A little brown, dark brown wire right there. So you need to pull the thick, the power wire orange, last one right there, the smaller orange right beside it, and the brown wire. And your ground. But you can leave your ground in your plug. Okay. And this is what I did. Now, this is a rough draft, so don't be judging me. You know, crush caps and all that. It's tied in correctly so you see i still have my power wire in there because it still has power now the rest of these are speaker wires i gotta do the door locks like i initially stated so i got some more wiring to go but i could not keep riding with with roll up windows and you know you go through a drive through and you have to roll the window up and then my truck over there it's power window, so when I'm switching from one truck to the other truck, I'm reaching for buttons that aren't here. It's just, it's roll up down here. So, okay, here we go. So, as you can see, these two orange wires. Now, I'm going to take this one off, because that is tied into a power feed. It's 12 volts constantly with key switched off. Now, that's supposed to be the thick orange one. Now, the small orange one needs to be on one that switches off with the key and there's the brown wire right there that on this side comes from your data bus link in your body in your um, DDM driver door module that's that brown wire that feeds from there and then on your passenger side you have a tan wire from this module that goes in here. So that tan wire here, not the blue wire, but the tan wire. But the crazy thing is, it's already got the data bus link right here, still on the harness. And it feeds through there. So all you need to do is run power from driver's side 
to passenger, but I'm going to take this one off and run it onto an ACC switch where it comes on. It, when you turn the key on, power on, and turn the key off, power off. Because last night I experienced it still, the one was still working even after the car was off, after the truck was off. So this small wire is going on, key on, key off, um, power source. But the thick wire goes to constant 12 volts. Okay, so back to the driver's side. It's hot down here in Georgia, so you got to bear with me. So back to here. Now under your steering column, this is where it all ties in the key to making this work. So under your steering column, you have your body control module which is this thing right here, which most of us already know. And then we have this wire. Now this wire is on your gray plug and it's gonna say gray on your body control module, which is right there. And it's going to be this light green wire right here. Sorry, there's wires everywhere, but this light green wire that you see right here, which will be the last one in the corner as you can see right there that last one is going in the plug now it's b12 on the connector so b12 off your body control module or bcm and that is your data bus link no i did not change the body control module from the truck that had power windows this one has that wire and it already has the feed to the passenger side. So I didn't have to run an extra wire for that. But I did have to run one from here, which is on this dark brown wire. Right there again. And that's coming off the harness. It's going in between the door, going spidering through the whole door inside. But it goes to here on your driver door module, which is your window switch. So both of these are modules, passenger and driver. So to show you that it works with these switches, let me switch it on. So it's on, as you can see. As you can see, everything's on. And voila. Up, up, and down on the passenger side. No other wire, just power wire to the thicker orange wire here. And like I said, you need to tie the smaller orange wire to a on and off switch. Well, not on and off switch, but with the key, a wire that comes from the key. And it switches on when you turn the car on or turn the truck on and then switch off because last night I had problems with it um, still staying on after I um, turned it off. So that's what I'm about to do now. But other than that, the ground feed is still in the plugs on both harnesses. So all you have to do is just keep that ground in there. Take orange out thick orange small orange and dark dark brown wire out and on that side all you need is the thicker orange and smaller orange so today i'm gonna be running another wire from smaller orange to smaller orange on passenger side to on and off with key on there so, and that's how they work. Without that data link, the module does not communicate with other modules. And after hours of research, hours of research, reading through forms and all this stuff, they said it couldn't be done. And knowing me, I didn't master some of the some other things like Honda Accord. 2.4 from 03 through 
2007, the 2.4, in a 2000, I believe, in, I think it was a 2001 Honda CRV, which I didn't do the video on that, but I made it work after making some adapters, but I'll walk through that on another video, but I made it work, and all it is is the heater core hoses are different. Now, you might... You can't run your factory box, but this video is not about Honda, so I'll get to that in another video. But that is how you make it work on OEM wire harness through the door, which I took out of those doors, and the power locks, which I'm going to get to that in another video. But I think it's covered in a couple other videos on there. But all you need is relays from the gray and brown wire that's honest don't quote me because i might not be accurate i haven't had time to do the research i just went and picked up a 6-0 in that escalade with 158 well 178,000 miles motor and transmission and that was yesterday so i'm tired i didn't get back to like one o'clock in the morning so you gotta excuse me i'm out here late it's about three o'clock here in georgia but other than that that's all you need you could test this theory with the harness like i did and the one regulator plugged into it make sure you had the one regulator plugged into the harness when you're testing it to the switch because i didn't and it did not work <laughs> and i was like why is it not working so I plugged the one regulator up did this test and it worked and it's working now and like i said the windows operate by both sides, as you can see, I'm pressing passenger. Passenger works, goes up and down. Passenger goes up from main switch. And that's only one wire running to that side. Now I will be adding a wire for the, the skinny, the skinnier orange wire. And once I do that, it'll be to the on and off switch, so I won't have problems at night. But don't seem to have a problem in the day but that orange wire, yeah, is most likely on with the key, off with the key. I know the hot, the thicker orange wire is hot at all times. So that one's going to stay the power. And somebody, like I stated, had an alarm in here. So I just used those connectors right there. Yeah, I do need to upgrade this wire, but it's holding. And it has a fuse in it here, a 30 amp fuse here, which that's going to be coming out today. And then I'm going to see if this wire right here is on and off with the key, which most likely it is because it's on the pink wire up there. And yeah, but if I didn't state it, I tied the tan wire over there on that on the passenger door is already have a data link bus feed from the b12 light green wire here which i'm sorry about the lighting but that light green let me see here that light green wire here it already has the feed that wire that my fingers on right there it already has the feed to the passenger side so you don't have to run that now for it on the driver's side this green wire here i ran off of there as you can see there taped together but i got to get some more um clips to you know do like these up here and put it on this one on the green wire so it's running to this brown wire right there so you can see right there and you don't have to buy the conversion because they sell it and a lot of people say it stopped working the window motor gets sluggish after time and all i did was put the factory window regulators in in the door and i did that yesterday uh, for those doors from the 03 i bought that was rick put the factory regulators in the harness from those doors from those doors in here took all the the manual equipment out of the door took it all out spotted the harness through 
ran it through the correct way through that boot coming up behind the kicker panel and plug that one in right there and then did the same on that side over there and it works so have any questions you know message me in the comments but orange wire orange thick thicker wire the smaller skinnier orange wire off the harness the brown wire on the driver's side module on the harness those wires you remove from there because they don't have no pins in there which everybody knows remove those from it run the brown wire to the b12 on the gray body control module b12 um connector for the green light green wire run it to there passenger side already has it in the the um the connector junction in between the door on that side and that's it and it works show you one more time it works goes down goes down it's amazing they said it couldn't be done because it had a data bus link but it's done it's done it's a little tinkering with it but like i said run the smaller wire to an on and off with the key and the thicker orange wire with hot all the time i know that that's hot all the time and that's it Thank you for watching. Third's tips and advice. Be back with more Chevrolet, GMC, and Honda advice and tips. <laughs> I'm new to this, so don't mind me.